Hormone replacement therapy, is it different for um, EDS, connective tissue disorder people, or is it just the same as standard HRT once you get into that perimenopausal, postmenopausal period? Right. And I get asked questions about this all the time. And I have talked about this on my podcast, although I definitely plan to do it more. In fact, I have an interview scheduled with Dr. Rachel Rubin in the in the fall. Or I'm not sure. Maybe it's not even actually on the books yet. But anyway, she said yes. Um, so if people have more questions about this. Um, you know, she, I have more of the connective tissue expertise. She has the, the she's a urologist, but she has incredible expertise on menopause and recently was one of the people to talk to the FDA about you know, the uh, rules surrounding testosterone and things like that. So I would say that it's it's different in the fact that people with connective tissue disorders may need even more support than, you know, uh, connective tissue typical type people. So I think that, you know, we, ne- we still need to consider all the factors of, you know, your, your cancer risk and, you know, potential uh, contraindications to hormone replacement therapy. But I think that people with connective tissue disorders may benefit even more from having hormone replacement therapy, which may or may not include testosterone. Um, I do prescribe testosterone for some of my patients, and uh, oftentimes they do find it beneficial. Of course, that helps build muscle mass and can have some anti-inflammatory effects, um, can be beneficial for mood and uh, some things like that. Now, of course, you have to be very careful with dosing and and um, and that kind of thing. But um, yeah, it's h- hormones are very impactful. You know, one of the people that I interviewed, Dr. Kelly Casperson, she says, you know, we, we call them, um, oftentimes they call them like sex hormones, but they're actually, they're brain hormones. <laughs> they have effects in the brain. So yeah. 